Hey all, how have you been? I have a big news to share with you all. A lot of you have guessed and commented on my past videos and on my Instagram stories. I just have been waiting for the right time to announce this. Yes, I'm pregnant. I am in my 28 weeks now. Please come along with me on this journey like you always did. Pregnancy is tough for anyone and second pregnancy is all the more difficult because of various reasons. First is you already have a kid to look after. Also at times it's the age factor and the underlying health conditions that comes with it. However, it's a beautiful feeling and miracle to nurture a human inside you and bring them in this world. Bangalore is heated up so much more than ever. It's never been so hot here in the past. We recently invested in a juicer. Kaya has been asking me to make carrot juice forever, not sure where have she seen it. Though the juice extracted from carrot is always so less and doesn't feel worth it. I think it would be good if I would mix it with orange to increase the quantity. This isn't really juice like, no? What is it like? It's like just some grated carrots. Carrots. And I'm going to have muskmelon juice. I wasn't in a mood to have the whole fruit just like that. Though juices breaks down the fiber content and add to the extra sugar and calories. Yet it is an efficient way to take in some vitamins and potassium. Which may be an option when we get bored with our regular solid fruit intake. I had some watermelon pieces left from yesterday and I'm going to make juice out of it and turn it into popsicle for Kaya. In a popsicle mold, I have added some kiwi and then poured the watermelon juice on that. Thank you, Mama. I remember when you made orange popsicles once. Yeah. yeah, I used to have it with juice. Yeah. Watermelon and kiwi. I've been asking you to make popsicles and you did make it then and you make it now. And here's the reason I'm not a big fan of juices. The amount of pulp extracted makes my heart ache. However, the Nutribullet juicer that I got is quite easy to clean which is a relief. This video was shot earlier when Kaya had her spring break. Her school has now reopened and keeps her busy for most of the week. Hello. Hi. My name is Kaya. Kaya, nice to meet you. During the spring break, to be honest, it was little difficult for us to keep her productively engaged. 
Camly has still been her go-to class when she needs some practice communicating with teachers from other nationalities. Tutors on Camly Kids are native English speakers from UK, USA, Canada, etc. There. There. Let's read together. They are lazy. And all classes are one-on-one -on -one over no, video not. chat and can be done 24-7. <laughs> right, this is false. For the cat. Right. Yeah, he will save the cat. He is very brave. Even I can't do that. I'm too scared too. The lesson plan covers grammar, vocabulary, pronunciation, accent training, and tutors teach in the most fun and engaging way, making the child very comfortable. They are very tall. The curriculum details are available on the website. Camly Kids is certified by the Kids Safe Seal program and is marked as a child friendly website. You can use my coupon code DD22 off to get a 22% off on any 3 month plan. Links are in the description box below. Kaya has started her offline school recently, which means mornings are jam-packed. Chopping off her hair short was a good idea. She was very unwilling and upset about this. But I somehow managed to convince her. Her hair had grown so long, almost up till her waist, and my heart broke a little. It's time for lunch. In summers, it's nothing more fulfilling than a thali. A lot of veggies, salad, curd, etc. So today, I'm going to make broad bean sabzi, parwal alu kadi, red amaratha saag, salad and lassi. For the parval sabzi, in a pressure cooker, I have added some mustard oil and to that I will add black kalonji seeds, curry leaves, sleet green chilies and the cut parval and cut potatoes. For making the beans sabzi, I have added some chopped onions along with tomatoes then dropped in the chopped beans, haldi salt and red chilli powder. Once the parval and alu are well fried, I will add the tomatoes, red chilli, jeera and coriander powder. For the amaratha saag, after the beans are done, in the same karai I have added some oil, then the chopped onions, garlic, tomatoes and once it's nice and mushy, I will add the amaratha saag. In a pot, I am also going to steam some sprouted green moong to make a salad. See you. 
After it's done steaming, I will add it to a bowl along with cucumber, tomatoes, green chilies, black salt, chaat masala and some lemon juice. Here I'm also going to make a quick lassi. To the blender I will add some curd, milk, rose water, cardamom powder and a little bit of sugar. Time to serve the delicious thali and it was definitely worth the time and energy spent. And here's a special way to thank my man who takes all these beautiful shots behind the camera. I have been wanting to do this DIY for long. I got this wool yarn from Amazon and wanted to make some tassels for the plant basket that I had in my living room balcony. To make the tassel, you will need a book and just wrap the wool around it till it's very thick. Then you will need to take it out from the book and cut one side and make it into a single one like this. Then in between that, we have to tie another piece of wool and tie it securely with many knots. Leaving just half or one inch gap, you will need to tie another piece of single yarn like you see here and make a knot. After that, wrap around whatever wool left to make the tie more visible. Then chop off the extra uneven wool that's poking out just like you trim someone's hair. I have made 5 tassels the same way I have mentioned. Now I'm going to tie them onto the basket. I thought the size I made was too big for the basket. Maybe I could make it better the next time. But I also think it looks very pretty. This easy DIY has turned this simple basket into this lively piece. Our living room sofa had become so dirty over the past few months, more so because we initially had all our meals here since we didn't purchase a dining table then. Look at what all it has accumulated. This sofa cover thankfully is washable and that was one reason why we went for this light color fabric. Surprisingly, it was also very easy to open. I have washed it in 30 degrees warm water under easy care. While those gets washed, I will do a quick vacuum. This carpet accumulates so much of dust, especially in summer since all the windows in the house are wide open. She has also been finally upgraded to her new inline skates and this was really needed to keep her motivation high or else it's very easy for kids to give up. 
Don't make a video. I'm not too good yet. I'm so fast. One day you hit me now. Kaya. Adi is a mad or right? It's very sunny in our utility these days and the heat is making it worse to work there. These blinds were actually a good idea. I have soaked some yellow peas last night and I'm going to make a chart. This time of the evening is when hunger hits so hard. We Bengalis call this ghugni. In Karnataka they call it masala chart. Though chart is not a summer food thanks to my strong cravings that I get these days. I'm going to boil the chana with some chopped potato, salt, haldi and a little bit of oil for three whistles. Then in a karai I will add some dry red chilies, bay leaf, two cardamom pods, chopped onions, ginger garlic paste, tomatoes and cook it till mushy and then add jeera, coriander and red chilli powder. Then I will add the boiled chana and aloo. I will garnish it with some chopped onions, coriander leaves, lemon juice, bhujia and green chilies. For dinner tonight, I wanted to make some fancy food since it's a Friday. This pasta packaging says it is made of 100% semolina and not maida, so it made me a little happy. Since Kaya is a big fan of pastas, you also get whole wheat or atta pastas these days in the market. I will start with boiling the pasta. I will add two tomatoes along with it so that I can take it out later and make the sauce with that. I am also going to make chicken pepper dry. For that, I'm roasting some spices like jeera, coriander, mustard seeds, fennel seeds, peppercorns, one cinnamon stick and three cloves. Now I'm going to marinate the chicken with little bit of dark soya sauce, red chilli powder and curry leaves. The soya sauce is to give that nice black color which a typical pepper chicken dry needs. In a tawa, I have added some oil along with chopped onions, ginger garlic, green chilies and curry leaves and once the onions are well fried I will add the roasted and grinded masala along with more pepper powder and then I will add the chicken. While that's cooking I will make the pasta. To a pan, I have added olive oil, chopped garlic, pureed tomatoes, red chilli flakes, oregano and pepper. 
चाहे बावरे जरू को से बावरे The sauce is ready. I will add the boiled pasta and grated cheese to it. Also some water from the boiled pasta. At the end I will add some ketchup for some color. I got a raw mango the other day and wanted to make this raw mango salad. I will chop the raw mango in small pieces and add it to a bowl along with chopped onions, tomatoes, lettuce and mint leaves. To that I will add some salt, sugar, black salt, jeera powder and olive oil. And here's the first serving for Kaya. The sofa covers are done washing too and Parth helps me to hang it to dry in the balcony. It's the next day and the popsicles are ready. Kaya has been waiting for it. Also, the sofa covers have dried well. It had a lot of creases on it, so Parth ironed it. He also helped me to put on the covers because putting it on was tougher than taking it out. This looks so much better. These days I get very hungry in the evenings and since it's summers it's also a great time for fruits. There are so many fruits which are sweet now like muskmelon, watermelon, mangoes etc. So here I'm making a quick mixed fruit chart with muskmelon, mangoes, banana, apples and grapes along with some black salt and chaat masala. And that's it for today guys. Hope you liked the video. Please keep us in your prayers and I'll be back with a new video very soon. Bye.